Hello everyone and welcome to today's Mindful Monday. I'll give everyone a couple minutes to come on if you're coming on live. Of course, if you're watching the recording later on, we're welcoming you as well. Um, anyone who is watching either now or the recording, feel free to drop in the comments where you're coming from. And always if there's any topics that you'd like to hear covered, I always like to, to hear that. And of course, if you want it to be private, you can always reach out to me through a DM. So today we're going to be talking about quick and easy ways to really be better and more confident at just about anything. I say just about anything because, you know, obviously uh, at 49, I'm not going to start my new career as a tightrope tight, tight walker or anything crazy, but anything that is realistic, you know, we can be better at and we can be more confident with. So we can use these kind of tools and techniques to, uh, to do that. So if you're not already a member of our Mindful Monday um, cheat sheet, it's a PDF that comes out weekly. You would get this Monday's on next Sunday uh, PDF. Um, there's always our stay to the end bonus um, where you get to find out how to join us and get those free PDFs as well as a free hypnotic recording from me. So again, uh, feel free to put in the comments where you're coming from, if there's any topics you'd like to hear covered, or if you have any uh, comments or questions whatsoever at all. So as I said, today we're going to be covering quick and easy ways to get better and feel more confident about just about anything. And so the first thing that we're going to cover here is we have covered it before. We covered uh, power posing by Amy Cuddy for energy, but because it is uplifting and it's also a stance of confidence, um, it's, I'm just going to touch upon it here. Hi, Ron. So power posing means you can put your arms up like you've won a race, or you can put your hands on your hips, standing, legs par that parted a little bit like a Wonder Woman or Superman. So that's gonna create more energy, more confidence in the body, basically when animals want to mate, a peacock's gonna put up his feathers, when a cat wants to show that it's their territory or aggression, then they're gonna arch up their back. So we definitely don't want to get small if we want to be better and more confident. So that's Amy Cuddy's power posing. We did cover that a couple weeks ago, so I'm not gonna to go too much into detail on the actual science. So you can watch the replay of that one. All of these replays are, by the way, on the YouTube channel, which is just my name, Ashley Lynn Caputo. Um, we do appreciate it if you subscribe and or share. Um, helps get the word out there. So that's our review one. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about um, auto-suggestion. So this kind of comes from a lot of different people really, but basically I'm touching upon Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. It's an old, old book, but it's a good one, an oldie but goodie, you know? So Napoleon Hill, uh, he basically talked more about wealth, the laws of success and stuff like that, but these principles are useful for things other than gaining money and wealth. Um, he would say that auto-suggestion was a great way. He would kind of close his eyes and imagine for him it was the wealth that he wanted to attract. But basically, um, auto-suggestion is a great, great process. Um, and another thing to note on that is our subconscious mind, or some people prefer the term unconscious, um, that's more correct, uh, hypno, hypnotically speaking. But I like to use subconscious because the layperson kind of thinks unconscious is knocked out. Anyway, so I'm gonna say our subconscious mind, it actually never sleeps. Our conscious mind needs sleep, it needs to regenerate, but our conscious mind is constantly working. And, or I'm sorry, our subconscious mind is constantly working. Our conscious mind actually only makes up about 5% of our brain too, and it needs all that sleep, but our subconscious mind is about 95%. So it's very useful to utilize that power of auto-suggestion and the fact that the subconscious mind never does sleep. So uh, Napoleon Hill also would do this thing, and he called it his invisible cabinet of counselors. And it comes about, um, it basically is a mastermind kind of group. Andrew Carnegie did it um, with real life counselors. He had about 50 of them. And so basically the principles are is that just like if we had one battery, it has a certain level of use to it. But if we put a whole pack of batteries together, it's stronger and more powerful. So there's that extra charge. And the same thing is true with all of energy in our brains, our, our thoughts, our energy. So if you get a group of people together working on a similar idea for a goal, then you're going to have that much more energy, that much more power. So it can be done, of course, with live people, but it can also be done as Napoleon Hill did 
with an invisible cabinet. It sounds like make-believe and it is make-believe, but make-believe is great. Imagination is creativity. So basically you would just kind of, whatever you want to be better at or more confident at, it can really be anything. You would kind of pick, you know, as many people as you want. I, I wouldn't necessarily want to pick 50 because that's a lot of conversation to have in my own head, but I might pick three to five, you know, people that I really look up to who have the qualities or do the thing that I want to do. And then I would learn as much about them and they can be real people. They can be fictional people. They can be alive. They can be, you know, deceased, et cetera, et cetera. But you would want to learn as much about these folks as possible so that you can really kind of get into their head. And then I like to do these kind of things right before I'm going to bed, which is why I brought that up because whatever I put myself to sleep thinking about, my subconscious mind is going to constantly work on that throughout the night. So I have actually used this to my benefit. I have uh, written hypnosis trances while I was sleeping. I have created ideas for the next Mindful Monday while I was sleeping. I've created um, projects while I was sleeping because I just program myself to go to sleep with what I want. So basically, when you're, um, and you can do this really any time, of course, if you, you know, have your cabinet or council, um, you could just close your eyes and have a little mini meditation and you can just imagine asking, you know, or watching or however it works for you. Some people, you know, hear their um, counsel. Some people kind of just watch them, et cetera, or kind of feel it. And you would just be kind of figuring out how they would do these things or they might be answering you. Well, how can I? So say I wanted to be a more confident public speaker. So I might ask my cabinet, well, what could I do? And they could say, oh, well, you know, slow down, take a breath, whatever it is that works. I think you get it. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask there. And so basically you can do with you this as you like. You could always, you know, if you were going about your day and you have your counsel, um, you could just have a little mini meditation and see, oh, well, what would they do? It's kind of like that old, oh, what would Jesus do? You know, it's your counsel. So that is a pretty powerful technique. Um, you just kind of uh, consult them whenever you need to. So the next technique is called mental rehearsal. And we use this a lot in hypnosis and NLP with athletes who want to get better. So we would have them kind of you know, get into that relaxed state and then say they wanted to be a better golfer, we would have them mentally golfing their game, mentally swinging the club, et cetera, et cetera. Mentally seeing themselves get the hole in one, whatever the goal is. So that's very useful too. It's a great way also if you're coming back from say like a gymnastics or a dance injury to kind of feel the muscles working again. So a lot of these techniques are useful for so many different things. That's why I love this stuff. But I will say that mental rehearsal is if you haven't ever experienced what you want, then it's going to be a little difficult. So the final technique is going to be kind of a process that I'm going to guide us through today. So obviously I can't see you, but if you're driving a car or doing something that you need to keep your eyes open, then, you know, maybe you'll come back and, and listen to this later. So, you know, take care of you, but I will be guiding you through this, this kind of process. And this process is called, um, uh, well, they, uh, I call it um, a modeling behavior, okay? It's an NLP technique. So when you're ready, I'm gonna invite you to kind of think about whatever it is you wanna be better or more confident at and just kind of get that idea in your mind. If you wanted to put it in the comments, you're more than welcome to, but you don't have to, of course. I'm always curious though. All right, so now I want you to kind of, you considered what you want to be better or more confident at, and I want you to bring to mind someone who you find is really good at that particular thing, whether it's a activity or a way of being, so it could be confidence, it could be golfing, whatever it is, you know. So really bring this person, we're gonna call this person your role model. And they're really, you know, they have the skills, the abilities, whatever it is you want. So really bring this person to mind now, all right? And then if you wanna play along, cause there's no way this can't work if you can play along. So just let your eyes close down. I'm gonna invite you now to kind of watch a little mental movie in your mind, it's about 15, 20 seconds long, doesn't have to be long, of your role model, whoever that person was, doing exactly what it is or being the way you want to be. There's no way to do this wrong, just let whatever happens happen. All right, good, good, good. All right, so in a moment, we're gonna watch the movie again. And as you're doing so, you can start now, watching your movie again, watching your role model. I really want you to notice all of the little nuances, you know, all the details, 
how comfortable this person is doing this or being this way. Just kind of notice the whole picture, not just the pinpoint picture. All right, good. And now we're gonna watch the movie again from the beginning and you're really gonna see your person, your role model, their energy levels. You can see maybe their aura or feel it. Maybe you notice the color or the vibration around them or there's, maybe there's a sound to their energy. And how it gives them that special way of being that you so admire. And notice that the more they give this, the more they have to give away. It's really powerful. Good. Now we're gonna watch the movie again, okay? And this time I want you to notice how your role model got so good or so comfortable at this way of being or activity. Notice what kind of homework they did or if there was rehearsals or practices or studying or coaching or reading or you know whatever it is, how they worked for it all the steps they took to get this good at it. And just notice that. Nicely now. All right, so we're gonna watch this movie one more time. You're gonna memorize this movie, right? And this time, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and replace your role model, your person, with yourself. Now it's you in this movie. And see yourself performing just as your person, just as your role model did. Well, surrounded by their energy, that power, that energy, that aura that they had, whether you see it, feel it, hear it, whatever's right for you, but really becoming your role model now, surrounded by their energy. Good. Okay. And now, this time, we're going to watch the movie again, starting now. See yourself doing this thing or being this way, and notice all of the details, all of the nuances, and see how comfy you yourself now are, because you've really absorbed all the information provided by your role model, your person. You have all of their thoughts and all of their attitudes. And that's now your reality. That's right, good. You can go ahead and step into this movie fully now and play that main character. That's you, you're that main character. Step right into that special energy and imagine being your role model, your person, and doing just as they did. It's like you're feeling it in your body, and you're seeing through their eyes, and you can see, hear, and feel everything as you replay this scene now three to five times in your own mind, well, just making it more intense and more compelling each and every time. That's right. Playing that movie through, really feeling it, seeing it, hearing it. It's getting stronger and more powerful and better. That's right. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. That's it. Good. And now take that light and that energy fully in. Inhale in. And if it's all right with you, hold your breath for just a moment. While you're holding your breath, rush that energy that you feel from your head all the way down to your toes, and your toes up to your head, through your whole body, from your skin into your bones. And name this feeling, you can name it with a word, a phrase, an image, a sound, a song, but naming this feeling now. And then exhale out. Take another big breath in, you can breathe normally. Touch your middle fingers to your thumbs. And now another breath in, on your exhale, think or say your word or phrase. Good, we'll do that again. Big breath in, middle finger touches thumb on each hand. Exhale, think or say your word or phrase, good. One more time, big breath in, fingers are touching, exhale and think or say your word or phrase. Good, and you can relax your hands now, but know that because of the work you're doing here today, you've now created this anchor. So that anytime you touch your middle fingers to your thumbs like this, take a breath in and say your word or phrase or think it, then all of these feelings are gonna come rushing back to you just as strongly and just as powerfully as you're feeling them right now. And not because I said so, but because this is the magic of your beautiful subconscious mind and it's a resource state that you have created. And that's what we call, you can open your eyes if you haven't already, by the way, that's what we call that final part of that. So that was the whole process was uh, the, the NLP modeling, obviously you're modeling your role model. But that final process, 
this with the fingers and you could change the hand position, but I had to give y'all something that's called anchoring. So that's another powerful technique. So you want to do that anytime that you are in the peak of something that you're feeling really good about, or you're really proud of celebrating your successes. You can't think about yesterday and be like, Oh, I'm going to anchor that it's got to be in the peak. But so that is powerful. And just like anything, you know, it takes 21, 28 days, depending on the different research that you follow um, to create a habit. But if you do this process on a daily basis, a month from now, you can touch those middle fingers together, take a breath in and just all of this stuff is going to come back to you. And it is so powerful and so amazing. So I just love this stuff. Um, so grateful to be here. Um, again, thank you for staying. I see uh, we have Ron here still with us. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you type mindful in the comments or chat or whatever it's called here, I guess it's comments on Facebook, <laughs> chat is Zoom, uh, then you get a free copy of the recording and you'll be on our email list to get our weekly PDF cheat sheets, which kind of cover these uh, in on paper. Some people like to have the hard copy kind of thing. So that is all we have for today. And of course, I'm always open to uh, new topics and fun things. So thank you so much and make it a great and mindful Monday. Ciao.